All right, welcome to part three of the industrial setup. We're going to talk about a pooler system at this point. Okay, for the pooler system, what you need is a bunch of industrial combiners. So another bit of a, a metal sink, you're going to make a bunch of combiners. And basically, you need one combiner for every two of these conveyors. So it's kind of like the splitters. They're going to be sort of the opposite in a way. So we're just going to end up, now you could have a whole wall of these all in one spot. We're just going to end up setting one of these next to each just to make it simple essentially. And what these are going to do is these are going to be basically the access lines to be able to see what's in these boxes and pull out of them. So that's essentially what these are for. And that's massively important because at some point you want your highest tier area to be somewhat closed off so that people can't get into it and steal your stuff. All right, so what we do here is with all these is we're gonna hook up all the outputs on these boxes to a combiner. So we take the out from this one, into this one, out here, out here. And on the third one, we combine it. Okay. So in a similar way, we're always going to take the third one and go to the next combiner. Just uh, like we were doing with the other things. Like we were doing with the uh, splitters earlier, last episode. So same, same deal. Hook up two boxes, go to the next one. Hook up two boxes, go to the next one. We're going to decide what order we're going in. I guess I'm going to this one next and I'll come out. Ugh, that's the third one to go to the next. The next one's ready. Do the best I can here. I'm gonna make this quick, but a little janky. Just keep putting those up. Third one to the next one. Let's make sure they're all hooked up. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the slot three to go on the next one. I just like to keep it consistent. You just need to get them all hooked up in this manner. As you can see, I'm foregoing organization, which might, I understand, uh, may make some people not so happy or whatever, but I don't care. It just The important thing is that it's hooked up right, and that's the point I'm trying to drill home. I'm not going to get too fancy on you. If you don't understand the, con the concept that I explained, no amount of organization is going to help because it's so dead simple. That's my theory on it anyway. So if you don't, just go back and listen to the same thing I said ever, like a bunch of times. You know, it's one and two to a box, third to the expansion. I got an extra one here. I don't really need it. I think I'll just pop that. All these. This third one should go to this. And we kind of we got an extra slot here. Not nothing to hook it to really. Still gonna hook up the bottom ones. We're gonna take. Okay, there we go. There are some th items if you're inside of them, you can't tap the thing. Kind of makes it a little buggy sometimes. All right, we're gonna make sure this goes to this expansion. All right, and we'll hook up these. Now there's gonna be one of these at the end that has an open out. And that'll be this one here. Okay, remember the gun box got expanded, so it's out, it's going to other boxes. You just go to the final box. Oh, actually we are gonna expand this one out after all. To one more, this one here. But we're gonna do it Kind of in reverse, because we want this one to be the final untapped out. So this three is just going to be left empty, I believe. Yeah, but that's fine. If you end up leaving one empty here and there, it's not a big deal. It The only time it becomes a big deal is if you start reaching max depth, then you need to consider where did I maybe leave a tap empty. 
but it could just be for a box later that you hook up and expand another conveyor to it. So it's not too big of a deal. You want to leave the last one every time anyway. But these need to go. And I guess that would be the, the last open one actually in this case. Kind of in a weird position, but it gets the job done. Because these one and twos and yeah, hooked up to those two and this third expands to this one. So that's the slot. If you need to add more later, remember this slot. And it's kind of not organized well since it's scattered in a weird circle or whatever, but the point is we leave that open for expansion. We add in more boxes, just like we did with this last splitter. We'll leave a slot open. Just a standard rule as things evolve, you want that. Okay, so this out, this out is big. So we've got all these combiners hooked to boxes and they all converge to this final port of this out. So this out can go to anything that wants access to this box and that anything's got to be a conveyor. So say um, we never want to go down in the basement again. We're just not interested. We got drop boxes to put stuff in there. We're tired of going down there and looking for loot. So instead we're just gonna we'll just hook up the standard uh, the output on this goes to the input on that. The input on this one goes to, you guessed it, let's get this tube going anywhere, it doesn't matter. Uh, I probably should have colored this one because I usually color this one like yellow or something. Usually this is my yellow line. So I'm just reversing that. We're going to take that restarting the tap here and there we go now this conveyor has access to everything that gets filtered into our system all it needs is a little power uh, I'll just anything's fine right now I'm just gonna spawn maybe another test gen for the upstairs area but usually I do like to have um, the upstairs area on a separate its own power system Maybe it's just a small battery and a solar panel. That's good enough. In this case, I'm just saving time because this is not really about power. It's about the sorting. Now this has access to everything. If we put no filters on it, keep in mind what that does. It just pulls everything. So if we just turn this on, it's just going to start pulling a bunch of random stuff from our boxes. Probably going to be mostly guns since we have got three boxes of guns. But yeah, as you can see, we got a little bit of everything. All right. So you don't necessarily want that unless you want like an overview of a sample of your loot. But if you pull the wrong thing, you just go over to a drop box and you throw it in the drop box. And this is where the fun, this is where the system starts becoming magical, really. The sorting's cool, but the puller, man, <laughs> the puller, this is, this is a whole nother level. Okay. And it really just takes off from here as you start to see. I usually designate my puller boxes with a specific skin if I'm uh, playing with a group. That way they can at a glance tell what it is. And usually it's something like uh, it's a dragon box or something. It's a polar box. But that's up to you how you want to do that. Um, okay, so say this is going to segue into a lot of things. But say you want, okay, I, I want my workbench. Can you know my workbench? I know I threw one in there. Max one, I just want one of them. And uh, I got some, some players brewing around my base. So me an AK and some 5.5 five. Yeah. and we'll put some maxes in here so we don't pull all of them and then we turn it on maybe it's already on sometimes if you want to save power you, you turn you put this filter fail uh, actually I threw my wiring tool in <laughs> let's grab my wiring tool all right okay there's the AK now, you'll notice I'm not seeing the tier three. So sometimes when you get this all hooked up, you hook something up slightly wrong. It doesn't, uh, we're getting the AK, all right, that's good. So we gotta maybe troubleshoot a little bit. That, that happens. We got tier threes, they're right here. They're in this box. What's this hooked up to? Okay, so here's the problem. We see the problem right here. Let me grab this uh, wrench again. The problem's right here. This right, this 
is not hooked up. I forgot to hook this up. So it's not going to pull meds or anything from these two boxes. Oopsie. Sometimes that happens. If something doesn't pull, you've got to go say, oh, where did I mess up? All right. Well, I've got an extension here, an extension here. I was saying that this was the final expand one, but this could also be the final expand one. The reality is I just missed a slot. So we're going to call it this one and we'll leave this one over here for the final expand. Okay. Very good. Now that's hooked up. Uh, we noticed a problem. We went and troubleshooted it. That's a big part of this. You'll end up doing that sometimes. Now we got our workbench and our wiring tool as we wanted. We can go set up our, now I will say that pullers often work great with small boxes under workbenches. That's fine. We need an adapter. And now this system's almost become more convenient than me spawning items with their spawner in this special server. <laughs> That's saying something, you know, if I want something, it's essentially similar to going to that, except it only checks your stores, which is, which is cool. Oh, we need another conveyor. And you can have up to 12 things on this at a time. And I want to show you something else cool. That's going to segue. You might think, okay, one puller, great, but no, you can have as many pullers as you want. We'll just daisy chain the power here. But now the problem is we got another input, right? But the uh, example, this only has one output. We can only hook up one polar and that is solved with a splitter. So you go, you can either put the splitter early on in this system, or you can say, well, we're going to start another similar thing that you've seen and heard already. You just need one of these per two pullers because we take out one. Let's make these yellow. One there. one there. And now this goes to what kitty. Okay. All right. Sorry about the cats guys. They're hungry. Feeding times in 20 minutes. Get out of here. Get. Oh my goodness. They just want food so bad. It's not even their time yet. It's, it's still 20 minutes. To, but come on. I'm trying to record a video. But as you can see, this hooks up to this. And now the reality is you probably do want a splitter down here, even if you don't use it yet, because you will, uh, when you start messing with adding in internals. So I'm just going to kind of replace one here for later because, uh, the next step in this, we got a puller is you can start doing some industrial internal systems that pull and you need this, uh, you need this splitter going on to add those down there later. So that, that's it. All right, we'll get this in here and there we go. So now if we want to add more, never hook up this third one to a conveyor. We just say, I don't know, maybe we're adding poolers somewhere else to do something. Uh, we just hook up the next one, do the same thing as before. Um, hook up up the two and leave one up. One slot open, the last slot open for a later expansion. Always do that. All right, but now we've got two pullers. Maybe you don't need this one. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, it's, but it's really nice to have them under your nice your workbenches. That way you can grab all the resources you want. And you might have one for clothing or on the fly, grab a weapon sort of stuff, however you want to do it. But this, this is just the intro. It gets much more advanced. This is how we start doing auto lockers. This is how we start doing our industrial crafting from our resources. This is how we start smelting anything and everything that comes into a drop box, which it doesn't do yet. This closed loose loop system still only works with this box. Uh, we set up on episode one, but what if we now want to say, Hey, instead of this box being the box, can't like our whole setup here just integrate and it can i'll show you that next episode stay tuned thanks for watching the pooler episode let me know if you have any questions um 
streaming live on Twitch as often as I can, twitch.tv slash bytepro17124. My name is Matt. It's been a pleasure for the next episode where we're going to integrate the next part of the whole furnace system. And then we'll continue there. I'm going to do episodes as I have energy to do them. But uh, yeah, I want to get full on. There's a lot more cool things, a lot more cool little systems that we can show from auto lockers to auto crafters to there's even more things I'm not even thinking of, honestly. So I'm sure I'll uh, release them as I set them up here for you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. Peace out.